Bonjour Junior Engineers, welcome to my problem at day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on manometers. We're going to calculate the pressure at a given pipe. Now, if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking fluid mechanics class, these type of problems are important for you to know. I also got a very similar question on my FE exam, and that is why I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay, guys, so we have a manometer that contains water and mercury. So this is where the mercury is from this point up to here. This is open. So that means our pressure here is going to be zero. And we need to calculate the pressure in PSF at this point A right here. Now also note guys that the uh, this mercury is usually called gauge fluid. So in case you get it uh, in the test, you don't get confused. So we usually call that gauge fluid. So that's what it's called. Okay, so we're giving the unit weight of the fluid or the mercury, which is 147 PCF, pounds per cubic feet. And uh, so yeah, let's start solving. The equation for this type of problem is on page 109 on the reference manuals, so, or you can just type it and it will take you directly here. Now, this is the equation that's provided to you, but I'm going to show you guys a simple way of how I do it, and it's really easy and quick. If you remember, you don't even need to look at the equation. So first, this is what I do. I go, okay, I'm going to start at point A, right? So I'm going to write PA. Then at PA, at this point, it's going to have the same pressure because they're at the same elevation. Now, when I'm going to decrease, go down, right? So when you decrease in elevation, your pressure actually increases, right? It's like when you're swimming. When you go down, you feel the pressure is the same thing. So when we go, when the, we decrease in elevation, the pressure increases. So that's why I'm going to do plus gamma water times my height, which is eight inches. So let's, let's call this height one, H1. Now this point, so this is one and let's call this two. So, and this point, let's call it three. So now at this point right here to here, again, I have the same pressure. So my pressure P2 is equal to P3 because I am at the same elevation. So the elevation didn't change. That means your pressure still stays the same. So nothing happens here. Now what changes is when I go up. Now I'm going up, which means I'm increasing elevation. So my pressure decreases. So I'm going to have a minus. So I have minus the unit weight of the fluid, which is the mercury, times H2, which is this height right here. Let's call this H2. So let me write it down so you guys remember it. So when we, when you go up in elevation, when you increases, when you go up, uh, your pressure decreases. So you have a negative. Now when your elevation, when you go down, now your pressure increases. Just keep this in mind. It's really useful to uh, remember it this way. So another thing I would like to point out is sometimes in fluid mechanics books, you will see that they give you the specific gravity instead of the unit weight of the fluid. So in this that case, what you do, it's really simple. So remember guys, so the specific gravity is equal to what? So we have the unit weight of the fluid divided by the unit weight of the water. And if you forget this in the test, you can always check uh, under the geotechnical engineering, they have the equation there. So you don't have to worry about remembering it. So the unit weight of the fluid is just equals to the specific gravity times the unit weight of the water. And then there you go, you find your unit weight of the fluid. Okay, so let's start solving this now. Let me finish this equation. I got uh, sidetracked. So this, so now we, we reached what point? So we were at H2, right? So we reached here, this point right here. So we said we're going up. So my pressure is going down and that's why I have a negative. And now this is equal to zero because it's open. I have pressure is equal to zero. So let's equal this equation to zero. Now let's solve for PA. So I have PA is equal to the unit weight of the fluid times the height minus the unit weight of the water times H1. Now the unit weight of the fluid, it was 847 pounds per cubic feet. Now the height was is 16 inches, 
So you have to divide it by 12 inches per foot to convert it to feet because here you have feet, you have to keep you guys, your units insistent, consistent. That's why I always say write the units down so that way you don't make this, this kind of mistake during the test. Now minus, so here we're going to use the 62.4 pounds per cubic feet to keep, uh, to stay consistent with the units times the height, which is eight inches. Again, we're going to divide it by 12 for conversion, to convert it to feet. Now, if you plug in this, you will get an answer of 1,088 PSF, which is pounds per feet squared. So that is your answer. Okay, guys, so make sure you do the problems before you check out the solution, because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And also try to watch the whole video so you don't miss out on any important concepts that we discuss here. And lastly, on the next video, we're going to do a problem on Bernoulli and continuity. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And don't forget, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh.